Hey, Matt here from Fit to Confident You. Hope you are well Fit to Confident Unicorns. Uh, got another five exercise, 12 or so-ish minutes. Um, simple follow along workout. Just need one dumbbell again. And this time we're gonna be working our back and our biceps. That's really pulling actions, which you'll see. So we're gonna do one arm row, and there's always different versions. We're gonna do a pullover, that's lying on the ground. Some leg raises, that's for your core. Um, then, bent over row, and then uh, a bicep exercise. Three rounds, 10 extra, ten reps of each. Really simple, I'm gonna assume you've warmed up. If you haven't, go and warm up first. It's important for mental preparation as well as physical. And we're gonna start with the one arm row. And again, I wanna prove you can do it in a really small space. So make sure your weights are screwed on nice and tight. I'm gonna show you, first of all, the self-supported one arm row. So I'm in uh, just a lunge position, but absolutely, you can hold on to something like there, or a higher table. And all you're doing is pulling the elbow up and back and squeezing the shoulder blade into the middle of the back. Nine, 10, chain the sides. So back to the motion on that side. So just supporting myself. Three, four, six, eight, nine, 10. Good, so pullovers. You're literally going to be pulling the weight over your head. So with these ones, please make sure the weights are screwed on nice and tightly. Don't want them falling on your lovely face. So, I like knees slightly bent so you can drag your lower back into the ground. Pause and back up. You'll get a really big stretch in your armpits, which are your lats, which we're working. Three. Careful with this one. If you're unsure about it, don't do it. I'll speak for an alternative. Five, five. It's a really good oh, back widener. Fantastic. So leg raises, brilliant lower core exercise. If you're just starting out and you're unsure about your back, do this with bent legs like so. So literally have them bent and lift them up and tap the heels down. As you get stronger, you can start to straighten the legs like so. Now the goal is to keep your lower back glued to the ground. Five, ten of these. Six. Seven, eight, nine, but honestly, doing like this absolutely is working my core too, and ten. Okay, good. Bent over row. So, this is a standing position. You can stand up, I know I've disappeared, and get into this position. So, as you side on, I look like a play button. The point, and the point there, the play button on your VHS. <laughs> and you can do this either with both hands and you pull it into your belly button like so there we go three four on the next round i'll show you a different way to do this Six, seven. and again pull both shoulder blades in together Ten. good and then the fifth one very simply bicep curls i'm gonna do these kneeling that makes it tougher because i can't cheat and use the rest of my body for momentum Three, oh, three rounds of that is going to be fun. <sighs> Let's go. One, two, tight core while you're doing this. Three. You can do it standing if you want. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round one done. See all pulling actions like so. Okay, let's move on. Four minutes, but we had a bit of a chat at the start. So I'm gonna go straight into one arm row. And this time, yeah, okay. Let's show you from this side, holding on to my desk. And I'll get nice and low, nice flat back, you see? One, two, three, four. And again, keep your core tight while you're doing this. Pull it in the whole time, but keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Get to change sides. Again, with your screw on weights, always make sure they're nice and tight in between exercises. We'll get that pullover going. And one, two, nice, big stretch. Three, four, 
And again, keep your lower back glued to the ground. Six. Don't bring up the unicorns, why not? Seven. Rest your head, don't lift it like I did. Eight. Nine. Big hold. Four and ten. Lovely. Put it down for the leg raises. So here we go. Two. Three. Nice job. Four. Looking good. Five. Six. Pikachu loves my book, by the way. Seven. Bent over row, so I said I'd show you a different way of doing it. This time, you're going to get in the bent over row position, so here. But if you want to, you can make it tougher by, by holding one weight in one arm. Now this means your core will have to work harder to stop the weight twisting, because you want to stay square. So, one, two, and it, yes, you're right, it's a bit like a one arm row. Well, it is a one arm row, but it is in a different position, so it'll be working your back slightly differently. Or obviously you can do this with two weights at the same time. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. Eight, nine, ten. Good. And then bicep curls to finish round. Duh. Oh yeah. You can actually go into a half kneeling, which will give you a bit more of a solid base. Three, four, five. Stuff. Swap it over. One, two, three. Working hard. Love what you're doing. Five weights coming undone. Gonna screw up up halfway through. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely stuff. Sip of water. Obviously, pause this at any time. Take a rest. Take a breather. Have some water. Western. Okay, final round. And honestly, if you just did this and the other upper body and core workout I just posted that was about 12 minutes, like before work, every day, not even every day, it's like three times a week to start and then be built up to every day. You would build muscle strength, burn fat, build fitness, build stamina, feel great, have energy. Like it doesn't need to be an hour. Do this, but like you can see, I'm a bit out of breath. I'm using my body. Okay. Tighten the weights. Last round, one arm row. I'm gonna get back to the self-supported. So get into a nice big lunge, drop into it, hello. And here we go. Two, three, four. Try not to let your shoulder fall. See, you could go like burp, but you wanna keep the tension in the back while you do this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Swap them over. Great exercise, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing, okay. Pullovers. Oop. <laughs> a little burp for you. We're really human, it all happens. Okay, <laughs> ten pullovers again. Make sure your weights are screwed on in place. And we go, four. Keep that belly button in. Glue that lower back to the ground. I like to do these nice and steadily, really feel the stretch. The muscle's working to pull it back up. That's five. Six, brilliant stuff, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, and here we go. Oh, hold, if you want to make it a bit tougher, three, two, one, back up. Oh, love it, really enjoying these. I get such a great little energy boost. Get the blood pumping. Okay, leg raises, right, leg raises. Like I said, like even if you want to do one leg, that is still working my core. Absolutely, it's obviously two, or, and you build up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
close to that. Nine. Ten. Now obviously I'm rattling through these. Do take a breather and don't worry if it's taking you a bit longer and you need longer rest. Longer rest is good between sets. It means you worked hard and you need the rest. I like that. Ow! You can tell this. Oh, I'll leave that in the edit. <laughs> okay. Final. Two more exercises. Bent over row and bicep curls. So I'm going to go back to holding with both hands. Pull. And push it away. But again, don't round the back. Never, never that. Always strong flat back. Three. Four. Tight core. There we go, lovely. Last one, nearly in bicep curls. Again, seated work. I can't do seated on the floor because my arms are too long. If you want full extension when you're doing a bicep curl. Fantastic, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, seven, proud of you. Eight, nine, Whew. 10, tighten that up. Nine. Last round, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Roll the weight away under the uh, sofa bed. Hey, unicorns, that was brilliant. Well done, proud of you. Shout with any questions, shout if you need any exercises swapped. 12 minutes on the nose. Brilliant. Proud of you. Do it again tomorrow or in a few days when you're ready. Let me know how you get on. Love to hear that. Love to hear about your progress. Have an amazing day.